So last time uh, we evaluate i i square i cube i four those power by dividing by four, right? So this time we will talk about how to analyze those value uh, dividing by two instead. Okay. So I'm gonna recopy what we have done before, and then I will go. Back, uh, we will talk about this more detail. So last time uh, we found some pattern until i to i to the twelfth power, and then as you see this value, so i equal to i, i square negative one, i cube negative i, i fourth one, and until we found i twelve equal to one. So now we will talk about how to analyze those value dividing by two. Okay, so now look at this please so i fifth and i ninth so i'm gonna divide by two so five divided by two so two goes five two times right and then four remaining because one now what about nine so two so going four times eight the remainder one so please look this carefully okay now i also compare this 7 and 11 as well so 7 divided by 2 2 goes 7 3 times and 6 remainder 1 and 11 case 11 divided by 2 so 2 goes 11 5 times and the remainder becomes 1 so both cases the answer become i but signs are different here so these two case we got i these two case we got negative i did you find some pattern here you know how can we just fight when we divide by two you know to get i or negative i so obviously remainder is one the answer no matter what i now please look at the quotient carefully so now 5 and 9 case both the quotients are even number now at the same time the 7 and the 11 the quotients are odd number here so now we can conclude that if quotient is even and then we have remainder 1 the answer become i but quotient is odd number and the remainder equal to 1, the answer become negative i. Make sense to you? Okay. Then, we think about maybe this case as well. So, 6 and 10 here. So, so I'm going to divide 6 by 2. Then, 2 go to 3. Uh, 6, 3 times. So, no remainder. Right? And, 10 divided by 2. So, 2 goes to 10 5 times. And no remainder. Okay, now I go back here and then so 8 and 12 as well. 8 divided by 2, then 4, 8, 0. Now 12 divided by 2, then it goes 6 times 12 and 0 here. So this time we can apply exactly the same property here. Is it no remainder? The answer no matter what becomes 1. Now look at the quotient here. If the quotient is odd number, then answer becomes negative one. If quotient is even number, then answer becomes one. Does it make sense? Okay. Then let's summarize. So dividing by two. Okay. So we have to look at the quotient first. The quotient is odd. Now, remainder, sorry, the remainder equal to 1, the answer become negative i. No remainder, then answer become negative 1. Make sense? Yeah, odd means always negative. Remainder 1, negative i. No remainder, negative 1. Now, 
quotient is even. Remainder 1, then answer becomes I. No remainder, then answer becomes 1. Does it, mess, does it make sense to you? Okay, then maybe let's practice few questions. Okay, so I to the maybe 33 power. So I to the 30, 30, 33 power. So we are making division 33 by 2 here. Then 3 goes 3 one time, so 2 and then 13 and 6 and then 12, remainder 1. Okay, now we have remainder 1, right? Then you have to go to quotient 16 here. 16 is even number. And then we have a remainder 1, so this answer will become i. Make sense to you? Now, what about i to the a75? I'm making up, so I don't know the answer either, actually. So, A75 divided by 2, so 4, so 8, 0, 7 comes down, 2, 3, 6, and then 15, 7, so 14, remainder 1. Okay, remainder 1, all the power, so this becomes negative i. Make sense to you? Okay, I really hope so. Otherwise, please go back to the beginning of this video and then watch it again until you understand. It's a really important topic. Okay, now, what about even power? So, i to the 1 over 2 power. Okay? So, just making 1 over 2 divided by 2. And 2 goes 10 5 times. And 2 comes down 1 to 0 here. No remainder odd number odd quotient number then this become negative one okay i to the 124 so 124 divided by 2 6 12 2 4 0 no remainder even number so equal to 1 okay so it is up to you which divisible value you are choose. You are choose divide by 4, then you need to find the remainder. Remainder 1, i. Remainder 2, negative 1. Remainder 3, negative i. No remainder, then 1. If you are, you, if, if you are divide by 2, then you have to go to quotient first. If quotient is odd, remainder 1, negative i. Quotient is odd, no remainder, negative 1. Quotient is even, remainder 1, then i, no remainder, then equal to i. Okay?